Okay guys, now that the dust has settled with the state of play and mainly Resident Evil 4, and now that I have watched the trailer about 100 million times, um, I think that I've caught on to some of the things that they showed in this trailer, um, specifically some certain parts, and I wanted to go through it with you guys and pretty much break it down for you. I know a lot of people have been doing breakdown videos, but there's a few things in here that I think... Nobody else has really talked, or at least the videos I've watched, they haven't talked about the stuff, some of the stuff I'm going to talk about. So, let's go through this trailer once again. Um, I've already reacted to it. If you guys want to see that reaction, you can click the card. Actually, no, it's on this side. Uh, you can click the card right there. I just think, you know, we should go through it together. Pretty much frame by frame. That's my idea. Because there's some quick parts in this trailer. The, the different scenes flash back and forth really, really quickly. And I think one watch, you're not going to catch everything. So let's go through it. Uh, dude, I just, I've watched it so many times. I just want to start off by saying that this guitar at the beginning is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I cannot wait. Thunder Wonder Roost. I don't know what he's saying here. Wonder Roost. It sounds like he's saying Thunder Wonder Roost. I don't know what that means, but you guys know the military and like the presidency and like they have their... Gun, maybe like Gunder Wonder Roost, something of that sort. Sounds very, very much like that. Located BB Eagle. We've located BB Eagle, and in this scene, you can see that um the president is in distress because he probably has just found out that Ashley. They're bringing Leon in. They're gonna tell him like Ashley's missing. You gotta go fix this. But that's def that's obviously the president right there. This is pretty much the only like close facial sh facial shot that we get of Leon in this trailer. We get a few side shots, a few sneak peeks. This is pretty much the only one. And I think that this, I don't know. I actually don't know because it he does look different here. And I was going to say that this is him telling him to go get her, but that wouldn't be too long after this scene. So come to think of it, maybe it's not him telling him that she's missing i thought this was a few years late or a few days a few years before because this looks like him in the infinite darkness netflix show which is like three years or two or three years before resident evil 4 i believe i could be wrong on that but it's it's a while before i don't know he does look he does still look different that's pretty much the only shot that we get of his full face pretty much his full face so here we obviously get a, a good shot at ashley um she is sporting what looks to be, it could be like a brown jacket, but it, it kind of, in the in the later clips, it kind of looks like she's it's red. And that's kind of the reason I thought it was Ada when I first watched it. Uh, because Ada's signature thing is red. And actually, we can, we'll talk about her later. Because she is in one, one very, like, very short half a second scene uh, later in the trailer. So she's running away. And this is where one of my predictions slash hopes comes into play what i'm thinking that they could do or something that i wish they would do is what if they started off the game playing as ashley running away and even if it's not playing as they're definitely going to show us how she got taken because in the original it was just kind of like you're leon you go rescue the president's daughter like you don't really know why or i guess you kind of you find out why obviously he doesn't know why going in but you don't know the backstory of how, you know what I mean? Even now, even after the end of the game, you still don't really know how they went about taking her and what they did to her along the way. So I think this is alluding to the fact that we are going to find out exactly how the villagers and Sadler and who and Krauser took her. Because Krauser's the one that was actually the person that took her. But I think that this would be genius if they could maybe open the game like this like what if you're playing as ashley try to sneak around the villagers and like try, try to figure out why you're there what they're trying to do with you uh, i'm just so excited and also she's got like a different haircut now oh, a little bit very similar to ada's i guess is what i'm trying to say that's why i kind of confused the two um and this is another scene i want to take a look at um this is obviously a closer look an even closer look at Ashley. Oh, I don't want it to dim. So you can see the crows here. So crows are obviously gonna obviously gonna make another appearance. But I wonder if they're gonna like drop loot or something. I'm still trying to figure out exactly where this area would be. I'm thinking it's one of those main doors in in the beginning of the village. So there's those big doors 
if i'll throw up some clips too but there's those big doors um that have like they don't you don't just walk through them they have like a black like a loading screen and whatever um the first one i believe is into the village just before leon goes up with his uh binoculars there's one towards um where you meet chief mendez off of off of the village where you actually come through the other you actually come through the other way the door is actually locked the first time you go to try if you try from the village entrance and then there's another door the same type of door that leads into the farm so that's the that's the second door that you go through that's where you have to go through right after right after completing the village this scene wasn't sure at first but this has to be the first house i believe that this is the first house that leon goes to and first sees the ganado and in a second we're actually going to get a sneak peek at our first ganado at least what i believe to be our first ganado um there's a reason for that and i'll keep going there but you can see here he's got some uh some farm tools and um some like saws or like whatever whatever you use to like butcher animals um and i really like that they're keeping that feel you know obviously it's it's a farm obviously it's called the farm but it's not just the farm you know what i mean like they're still going to be working they're not just going to completely take that away and have them attack you like they're still going to be actively working villagers for their everyday life and as you can see it looks very different chimneys going and that's actually going to be uh that's going to be important in a second i actually just thought about that so i'm not going to lie broken down very dark very dark keep that in mind as well it's nighttime he opens the door and then the village okay and i'm also gonna try to pick up some uh press release images that were released after this trailer that are very interesting if you take a look at this the first time i looked at it i was a little surprised at how they're going about this this right here alone just taking this as face value does not look like the village to me this right here is the chainsaw house guys okay it's got the it's the only fenced in house and then you got the fire in the middle i haven't seen anybody on the fire itself so i'm very interested to see how they're going to go about killing the drivers also i just picked up on this this is that this is that thing that he inspects that he says he that says it stinks um so it's cool that there's like those little things that they're including like the fence like this thing that that he says smells and like the fire yeah let's keep going I guess you um, I'm not sure exactly where this scene is. It's obviously very, like, very close up. You can't really tell. But now we start to get a... We start to hear Lewis, who um, obviously has a different voice. Sounds very... I think he sounds pretty good, to be honest with you. But um, in terms of the visuals here, setting the tone with some skulls. There were skulls hanging around the village in the original. So that's good that they're keeping that vibe. Um, and in terms of what Lewis is saying, I haven't been able to pick up on it. It sounds like he's... I'll play it first for you guys. Guess you, me. Big drunk spot to vacation, eh? I don't know what he says. I'm going to be completely honest. It sounds like he says, I guess you and me, or I guess you, me, and they something, 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 vacation, eh? I, I think it's like, I think that might be like the cheesiness I think that's like a hint at the cheesiness because why would he be talking about vacation? You know, what I mean, it could be a joke that that Lewis is saying. And uh, in this clip, we can see. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back a second. Right here, you can see Leon. Face is very blurred out. I love this clip. Actually, I think it's sick because you can't really see his face. I think that's good that they're kind of still keeping it a mystery. At least his full face jacket looks fire from this freaking clip right here and uh lewis's freaking outfit looks dope you can see just the top of his well the, i guess the bottom of his face um right here very 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 little but we can also see that he has the red nine this is good they're bringing back the classic guns as well well at least one of them and then this scene this is the first house so in the original obviously he was also the ganado was also um Actually, you know, I think it, I was going to say it's right after this clip. This is that Ganado, obviously. 
you can see him he's kind of just standing there like idle essentially standing in front of the fire so that's the same ganado but this has got to be the first house and i think it's dope that this the only light source is that fire i don't know that just looks so like mysterious that's freaking sick and like i said that chimney at the other house that i showed you guys at the very beginning or yeah at the beginning And I just want to say that the model of this Ganado, it looks so good. He's got the bloodshot eyes. He's sweaty. He's got a lot of freaking hair. This right here, I have not heard a lot of people talk about, if anybody at all. And I was talking with my brother last night that we think that this is actually, interestingly enough, inside the church. You might be thinking, that's not a Ganado right here. He's in front of some sort of altar or something here. But that's not a Ganado. That is one of the castle enemies. You know, in the original game, there were no castle enemies in the church, right? Well, actually, you may not know this, but if you jump out the window, well, during the cutscene, when Leon and Ashley jump out the window out of the castle, during that cutscene, the people shooting you are actually the castle enemies. He, uh, Sadler has two castle enemies with him. After that cutscene, you leave and you can go back into the church and there's two, those two enemies that were shooting at you with the bows are back. You can actually kill those two enemies. So I think that this... It's actually one of those one of those enemies, or maybe there's only one this time, or maybe there's more this time. But I think that this is actually inside the church. Maybe it's a different area. Maybe this is inside the castle for all I know. But I think that with the chairs, and it looks like there's some tables or something. Like there's def these are definitely chairs. This is a booth. This looks like this looks like a church pew. And here, I just saw a tweet a little while ago that zoomed in on these characters. They look amazing let me just say that they look fantastic but what i did not pick up on was that this guy in the front here has a bandana the original did not have a bandana and this guy is but he's supposed to be the bald guy the other guys don't seem to um but they have the hoods on instead you get a little bit of a, of a look here at, at one of the male villagers and this might look this might be a male villager as well but i thought maybe it was just a really short haired uh, woman enemy. I'm not completely sure on that, but and this scene right here I've also not heard a lot of people talk about this is obviously Ada right here, and let me just say <laughs> This this outfit that they have here is not even just on her like the outfit itself is fire Like that outfit that outfit is fire the fact that they got the little lines going like what's that called? Um, they have a certain name for that type of clothing I forgot what I forgot what it's called, but she's got the the tactical stuff on. It just looks sick. And in the oh, oh crap! You can actually see that. You can see over here blur out. I just caught this. I was gonna tell you guys that I haven't heard a lot of people talk about the fact that this could be that hallway leading into the clock tower of Salazar's castle because that that hallway, that big wide hallway, was filled with large windows and over here you can see the split in the window right here and in the center right here or with the circle right here that could be one of the faces that you put the um those cups or whatever we have to put each the male one in the in the male one and the female one and the female one but there's two sides the door doesn't open until you have both of them that could be this and obviously we can't see the other one on the other side there's many other rooms in the castle with big windows like this but I just don't remember if there's one that has them lined up all in a row like that. I could be wrong, but definitely in the castle. I think we can definitely say that this is in the castle regardless. In the boat, this confirms Del Lago. The Del Lago boss fight is is uh, is present. And that's him passed out. No jacket. This is after they take his jacket. So this lines up with the original. I think this is... The same part that he loses his jacket in the original. I could be wrong, but... Oh, no. He loses his jacket when he gets taken away with Lewis. When uh, he kicks Mendez and then gets flipped and then he passes out there. He wakes up. He doesn't have his jacket on anymore. So after that, he doesn't have his jacket. So it's kind of still lining up. Okay, and this... It's like literally like five freaking frames right here. This is Mendez. I think that this... Where Ada comes, if you go back in the room, she comes in and like she's in the window with her grapple hook and she shoots Mendez. 
but this is where this is where he strangles Leon. I think that that's this hallway. He looks very different here. He has what looks to be a hat, a, not a sombrero, but the, uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but a sun hat or something. He's got a hat on this time. Before I think he was bald, so that's very interesting. Hopefully he's still got the beard. It does look like there's a shadow there just below his nose. I'm not saying that that's 100% true, but hopefully he's still got the beard and obviously you can barely see it, but that's what it looks like just below his nose. Looks like it's the beginning of his beard. And I don't know what that is on his chest, that little yellow or gold. Maybe that's what you get when you beat him. Maybe that's like his necklace and it's worth something. Maybe instead of his eye, you get that to unlock the castle. Maybe that I just thought about that too. And this is right, this is right after Del Lago. This is when he passes out again in the cabin this is him like when it when it sees his veins like i think he's i think he's a loose i think he's hallucinating to be honest with you but he wakes up and it's nighttime and it's raining and you could go back on the boat and everything like this is right this is right after del lago um good look at a villager right here he looks like he should to be honest with you this looks like an updated version of the 2005 villager this looks freaking good to me this looks great and this must be the church right here you can see the gate it does not have the insignia at the top i realized this a little while ago that it actually has a rooster with like the the uh direction that the wind is blowing you can see the gate here at the front just barely you have the two big doors just like you have in the original the two big doors that you kill the enemies at when you walk in as leon you can actually see down here the symbol that we will later see i just realized this as well right around here you can see the symbol barely um, that we will see when Sadler starts talking in this trailer. But yeah, this has got to be the church. I don't know if it's the back end or the front. I would assume it's the front because you can kind of see this this porch. You can kind of see the, the porch um, right around here. I just realized that. Love the birds too. That's freaking sick. You will receive our most and this is that symbol. I didn't know it was right after this. But this is that symbol. I don't know what the symbol is. We've never seen this symbol before. And people are saying that it looks very similar to the symbol from Resident Evil Village. Maybe there's some sort of connection. People are thinking that there could be some connection between this and Village. Obviously, there's a lot of similar a lot of similarities between those two games. But this symbol, if you take a look at this and then take a look at that at that headstone that I just was talking about um, at the church scene, it looks to be the same symbol. Sadler looks fire. He's still got that thing that he's wearing that he usually wears and his staff as well which has he's got the tentacle he's got the hood he's got the cloak looks freaking fire very dark you can't see his face and then after this we got a we have a sick clip of leon in the car on the way there and like i said before this is this pretty much confirms that the cops are still bringing him to the village it's the same way he gets to the village and it actually looks like he's already there in terms of like this post but this model right here oh my god if that's Obviously not the front of his face, but that side view, that side profile, it's so freaking sick, bro. It is so sick. I cannot wait for this game. I've been watching this trailer like a hundred million times, bro. But what he says here, if I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second. Okay. So he says, if I can just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, I think he's referring to Raccoon City. But somebody also mentioned, and this is very interesting, somebody mentioned that they think it could be references to how Ashley got taken in the first place. Maybe it was maybe it was Leon's job to protect her in the first place back in the US. He fucked up pretty much. That was that was the president pretty much telling him, Ashley's gone, you need to go find her at the at the beginning when he puts his hand on his shoulder. Maybe. Could be Raccoon City as well. Not sure. We're gonna have to find that out. But this freaking scene, his voice, his voice is good. I'm not gonna lie. It's the same actor from Resident Evil 2. And obviously here we get a better look at Ashley's face. Um, I did not like this at first. If you guys watch my reaction, you can hear me pretty much. Oh, it's actually orange. Her jacket is is like it's like a brownish orange kind of color. So it's not red. It just appeared red at the very beginning. I think in terms of just the lighting. Um, so, and she's got like a handkerchief on as well. It's pretty reminiscent of what she was wearing in the original game. Like I was saying, I did clown on this model in my reaction trailer. It's definitely growing on me. She doesn't look exactly the same. This time, it can be different. Oh, dude, this freaking scene right here. It has to. This time, it can be different. It has to. And from here, you can see the bell tower. Um, and I mentioned that in my reaction trailer. And this is the entrance to the village. Uh, this dude this game is gonna be so freaking good 
I cannot with this. I can't. I cannot wait. I'm going to go and get the press release images that some like YouTubers and stuff they were able to get their hands on and talk about themselves. So I'll try to find those pictures right now. All right, guys. So I was able to find those images, those press images that I was just talking about, but it's actually through a YouTube video. So shout out to Let's Talk Resident Evil for them. Obviously, all credit to them. They weren't the only ones to get these images, but this is the this is the video that I watched. So this first one here is a new image of the village itself. And the main thing here, I would say, is this middle building. That is the building that leads underground to go to the church and um, obviously up here is the bell tower over on the left is the um the shotgun house and then this over here is the the barn that has the cows in it or the cow and it's good to see we have a chicken here the chickens are still gonna be roaming around the village it's gonna be pretty sweet this one i really wanted to talk about so as i mentioned earlier in the video i did not think that the village looked it looked similar but not super similar but this image right here is the image that i looked at and was like wow like it's actually gonna be the village from the original game almost pretty much to a t as much as you can get for a remake and still be able to call it a remake um that first clip in the trailer did not give me that vibe at all it was i thought stuff was moved around i thought there was buildings missing or added or whatever but this image right here you can literally point out every single building from the original game so over on the left or i'm sorry over on the right we can see that that is the barn slash building that you can't go into in the campaign but are able to enter in the mercenaries mode this one right here it's a it's the very little building um i think on the back side is the woman who's facing away from you with the red herb in the box it's freaking crazy that i know exactly where all the items are and crap but she's facing away from you shoveling or doing something she's working this building right here i thought at first when i first saw this image i thought this was two separate buildings i was like why are they having why are there two separate buildings like i thought all three of those i thought all three of these roofs right here were separate buildings these two these are different this is shotgun house right here and this is that smaller house i was just talking about these are different but this one down here the one you can barely see it's not an it's not a different building it's actually the roof that you can go on to in the shotgun house so that's pr wait is that the same building i think it i think this is all one building they are connected i think that yeah 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 there's a gap on the ground in the original game that you can walk through these two but there are planks or some like some more roofing to connect these two on the top so that's why you can jump out of the window when you get to the top of the shotgun house after you grab the shotgun you can jump out of that window onto this roof i just thought about that okay so technically i guess you could say it's all one building even though on the like i said on the ground there are there are gaps between the walls but on the top on the roof you can jump out and get onto the top of that roof as well so you can go onto all three of these roofs but this down here is actually the side roof to the shotgun house and then this on the left is the bell tower this is the barn with the cows and this leads up to where we find mendez we actually this is the area i was talking about before with those three doors those three similar doors it's pretty much the same and that is that is very very exciting the fact that they kept pretty much the same layout even if the buildings look different it's the same layout but if you guys enjoyed watching this very 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 long breakdown of the trailer be sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe before you go and um, i am actually doing a resident evil village playthrough on my channel right now so if you're new make sure to check out that on my channel and like i said if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next video